Hello everyone, we will continue the topic table buffering and in the previous video we covered what are the various buffering options and what are the various types of buffering. Now we will start with our first type of buffering that is single record buffering. Now word itself is saying single record buffering. It means single record will load into the buffer at a time. I am using the word at a time means at a time the single record from the database layer will come into the buffer of application layer and we all know very well now that buffer is on the application layer and it is a temporary storage. Now the first question comes when we have to use single record buffering in which scenarios we can go for single record buffering. Single record buffering is used for tables where single record are accessed by specifying the complete key. Whenever we are able to access single record by specifying the complete key, this complete key word is very important. In that case, we can go for single record buffering. Suppose we will understand this by example. Suppose I will go to our order header table, which we created. Suppose if I will go to SC11 transaction code and go to our order header table. In this table, the order number is the primary key of the table. Suppose if I will go to the contents of this table, whenever I am fetching data from this table based upon order number, I will always, always get a single record. Just understand what we are saying. Whenever I am fetching data from this table based upon order number, I will always, always get a single record. Suppose I am giving order number one, I will get a single record. Suppose I am giving order number four, I will get a single record. I am giving order number eight, I will get a single record. Yes. So if I am fetching based upon order number, yes, I will get a single record. And yes, I can go for single record buffering because I am passing the complete key in the where condition. What is the key? Key is the order number. Yes. Now I will go for another example. Suppose we are fetching data from same order header table, but based upon payment mode. Now we are not fetching based upon order number. I am fetching based upon payment mode. Suppose I am giving payment mode C. So I will get this record, this record. I will get this record, this record. I will get this record, this record. Now, based upon payment mode, we are not getting single record. So how we can go for single record buffering in that case? Yes. So complete keyword is very, very important. If I am going for order number, I will get a single record. I can go for single record buffering. Yes. But if I will go, I am fetching based upon payment mode, then single record is not coming at a time. Multiple records are coming. Then I cannot go for single record buffering. So single record buffering, whenever you are sure that by passing the complete key, you are getting a single record, you can opt single record buffering. Suppose if I will go for the example of SAP table to give you the best clarity. Just see, this is the SAP table. Name of the table is S counter. Suppose in this table, 
This is the primary key. This is the primary key. This is the primary key. Airport is not the primary key. I am fetching data from this particular table based upon suppose I am saying first column and second column. I am fetching based upon MANDT and CAD ID. As of now, you are not aware about programming, but no problem. Yes, anyways, we are not learning programming as of now. Programming is in the future playlist. Yes, but there is no need of programming. Just understand the concept as of now. We are fetching data from this table based upon MANDT and CAD ID. Just see what MANDT we passed 001, but CAR ID we passed LH. If I will give 001 and LH, will I get a single record? No, I will not get a single record. I am getting total 8 number of records if I will only pass these two in the bare condition. So I cannot go for single record buffering, but if I will pass count num also in the where condition, I am giving count num four. So whenever we will give all these three things, we are getting a single record. We are passing the complete key to get a single record. And have you seen single record is in the buffer? This is the single record is in the buffer. So yes, we must be very sure that we are getting the single record by passing the complete key. Then we can go for single record buffering. Now, what we will do, we will go to the table and we will just now enable single record buffering. So I will go to the table. This is our order header table. I will go to the change mode of the table. And we know very, very well that buffering is the part of technical settings of the table. Now, as of now, buffering is not allowed. Before I will check at this particular checkbox, single record buffering and buffering activated, I will take you to one most important transaction code and it's a critical transaction code also. So do not go for unnecessary things in that transaction code. We can check the buffer through AL12 transaction code. I will go to AL12. 12 transaction code. Now I will go to this monitor. I will go to buffer. We want to go for what? Table buffer. And I will go for single object display. I will pass that table. This is our order header table. If I will press enter, it is simply, simply saying table buffer is not activated as of now. And yes, table buffer is not activated as of now. Once I will activate the buffer and choose single record buffering, yes, we will be able to see this in this particular transaction code. Now, this part we will continue in the next video. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, we understood, yes, what is single record buffering. In single record buffering, at a time, single record will load into the buffer of application layer from the database layer. We should opt single record buffering whenever we are sure that single record is coming by passing the complete key. After that, we studied, yes, AL12 is the transaction code by which we can check the table buffer. In the next video, we will enable the buffering. We will see this transaction code and we will proceed with single record buffering. So that's it in this video. Thank you.